Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Ok guys, welcome back. I will add the vector link and project file link in my description below. You can check it from there. So first let's go to down and select the sky and let's lock this layer. And let's start to give a fake camera animation to it. So for that, let's first link the layers to each other. Let's select three one and let's link it to ground three. Let's see. Ok, and select the three two. Let's link it to ground four. And select three three. Let's link it to ground five. Let's see. Ok, nice. Now let's select this ground one and let's press P and make position keyframe. And let's move this keyframe to somewhere to here. And select the ground one and let's move it to down like this. And select the ground two. Let's go to this keyframe and press P. Let's make keyframe for it. And go to first second. Let's move it to down as well. And select the ground three. Let's do the same again. Make position keyframe and go to first second. Move it to the down. And ground 4, press P. Let's make position keyframe. And move it to down from here. And ground 5. Press P, make position keyframe. And move it to down. To here. Now select these keyframes. And make them easy ease with pressing F9 or right mouse. Go to keyframe assistant and press to easy ease. Let's go to here and press N to change the duration of timeline. Now let's preview it. Also to make it more realistic, let's change some settings. So select the ground one and let's move it to the up a little bit. And ground two, let's make it like this. And ground three, let's move it a little bit more. And ground 4. Let's make it like this. Let's see. Ok, as you can see there is a gap between the layers. So to fix that, let's use the shape layer. Let's go to rectangle tool or you can press Q for that. And let's make one rectangle like this. And then go to fill and click to eyedropper. And let's select this color. And click OK. Let's close this shape layer and let's move it to down to here. Okay, let's move it to here. Okay, nice. This one is good. Now let's fix this one as well. So go to rectangle tool and let's draw one like this. And select it. Let's move it to here. Okay, nice. Let's preview it again. Also select ground 5 and let's move it to down a little bit more like this. Let's see again. Okay nice. And now let's select this woman and let's link it to this hill and select the hair and let's link it to head and select this head. Let's link it to woman. Now select this head and let's go to solo and go to pen behind or you can press Y for that. And let's move the anchor point to here. Let's go on solo. And zoom out. And select this head. Let's go to here and press R to open the rotation. And make rotation keyframe. Let's go to 10 keyframe. And change the rotation to minus 10. And let's go to somewhere to here and make static keyframe. And go to 10 keyframe again with holding shift and page down. And change the rotation to 3. And go here. Let's make static keyframe again. And go to 10 keyframe. Let's make it minus 6. Now select these keyframes. Let's make them easy. Let's see. Ok, to make it more bouncy. Let's zoom a little bit and select this head. Hold shift and press P. Make position keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. Let's make a static keyframe. And then go to the middle. Let's move it to down like this. Select keyframes, make them easy. Let's see. 
Okay, let's copy these keyframes and paste for each rotation keyframe. Let's see again. Okay, nice. Now select this hill and let's press P, make position keyframe, and let's go to the end. And move this hill like this. Select keyframes, make them easy. Let's see. Okay, nice. Also, let's right mouse and go to new and let's make a solid. And let's change the solid color to something like this. And click OK and change the name to dust. And click OK. Select the solid and press T. Let's change the opacity to 15 or maybe 20 ok and then right mouse again go to new and uh, let's make uh, adjustment layer and then go to fx presets and let's search for cc rain and let's double click to cc rainfall and as you can see we also created a fake rain animation so let's change some settings from here for example let's change the drops like this let's see the speed of it ok we can decrease speed like this let's see now okay also let's change the wind to make it more like this and let's change the variation to make it more randomly let's see okay nice let's preview it again Okay, cool. And lastly, let's select this hair and let's go to solo. And select the hair and let's mask it like this. But make sure this one is the straight line. And then let's connect it. And then go to FX presses and let's search for wave warp. And let's drag and drop it to our hair. And let's change some settings. For example, let's change wave height to 40. And this one like this also this one let's make it 0 0.4 but as you can see there's a problem with the hair so to fix that let's go to fx presses again and let's search for transform and let's drag and drop it to our hair again and let's move it to the up and let's select this hair from transform let's move it to the left like this Also, let's change the setting from wave warp. Let's go to pinning and let's change it to left edge. And then let's select this here, press P. Let's move it to the right. And let's go on solo. Let's see. Okay, let's select the hair and let's press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And let's press M and select the mask. Let's delete it. Uh, let's delete the wave warp. Let's preview it. Okay, the wave speed is kind of slow. So select the hair. And let's change the wave speed. Let's make it 0 0.8. Let's see it again. Okay, this one is more better. And lastly, let's animation these clouds. So let's go to done and select this cloud 1 and cloud 2. Let's go to first second and press P, make position keyframes, and let's go to the end. Let's move them to the right like this. And to make them randomly, let's select the cloud one and let's move it a little bit more. And select the cloud two, let's move it a little bit to the left. Let's see. Okay, nice. So guys, thanks for watching my video, please don't forget to subscribe channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.